you don't love me! Hi everyone, my name is Ali. Welcome to my channel. Today is an exciting video because I'm finally getting around to making a giant unicorn. I don't exactly know how this is going to turn out yet, how large the unicorn will be, but I will be following my unicorn pattern and I'll be linking it down below. Uh, it's available on my website right now. So let's get started. I'm very excited. I'm going to be using the Sweet and Snuggle yarn from Michaels. This is always sold out on mine, so hopefully if you want to make one along with me, you can find it at your local Michaels. I got two of these, and I also, for the different colors, I got the Bernat Baby Blanket yarn. This is also great to use if you don't have a Michaels near you. And I got mine in the color Lavender, Tan Pink, and light teal. And I'm gonna be using that for like the hooves and the hair of the unicorn. Let's just get started with the body. I kind of already started with the body, but I had to redo it because I wanted to make it like the giant size because I was trying to make it a bit smaller. Might as well go all out, right? Finish the body. It's pretty big. I hope I have enough yarn for all of it. Alrighty, now on to the head. Stricken cactus and it starts to rain. The smell of steamed asphalt since it novocaine. Nature's brew of all kinds of things. The mountain sunk hill sky color schemes. I'm moving on to the limbs, which you guys know by now is probably my least favorite part. I ran for the first time in like almost a year. My body does not like it when I run because my legs ache so badly and I have pretty flat feet. So it just feels like my feet are on fire when I run, but I'm trying to take it slow, kind of warm up my body to learn how to start liking running because I have been biking a lot, but I want to do other things so I'm not too bored with biking. And I just got vaccinated like an hour ago, so that's fun. It didn't hurt at all. I got the Pfizer vaccine. Yeah, it was fine. Literally, like it felt like someone pinched me and then she was like, it's done. And uh, the nurse had the same name as me, spelt the same in everything. So I don't really see that often. If they have the same name as me, it's usually with one L or with a Y or something. So that was a little fun thing for today. And then we got Tim Hortons after. To, you know treat ourselves <laughs> which is probably not a good idea because we should be eating healthy especially after the vaccine oh shoot i can't believe it's almost the end of may i feel like may just went by so quickly just this whole year i think has been going by really quickly and i don't really know why i think maybe because i'm getting older and oh my gosh funny story so i know how everyone on youtube always is like how old are you oh i thought you were like 13 or 12 but literally um when we were registering i had to take my sister because she's a minor and i'm an adult so she had to go with an adult and the lady asked if i was her mother and i was like oh uh no i'm her sister <laughs> like do I look that old? But then you guys always say I look 12 or 13. I'm just like, okay, which one is it? I don't know. 
Oh man, I just ran out of yarn. I guess I need to go to Michael's. Okay, I'm back from Michael's and I got this. I'm kidding, I went like two days ago or like last week. But I actually did have to go to get this one because I knew I was gonna run out. I biked there actually. It took me like half an hour to bike there, I think. Makes you forget about all types of things. You remind me of the Arizona thunder. Satisfy the times and make you wonder about the bigger picture in your life. The simple times in the Arizona thunder. The Arizona thunder tonight. It's all behind ya Mirage of agua The stars above ya The creature's days To nocturnal days Makes you forget About all types of things You remind me of the Arizona thunder Satisfy the times And make you wonder About the bigger picture In your life The simple times in the Arizona thunder, the Arizona thunder tonight. So I've got all of my things crocheted and now I just need to put it together. I'm gonna start by closing off this little hole for the head. Finally found my yarn needle, so I can, let's see if this fits. That was dead. I took a couple days break. It's hard putting limbs on a small unicorn, let alone a giant unicorn. So this is what we have so far. I love it. I should have stuffed the body more because now the head is kind of like... But honestly, the holes are big enough to just like, stuff. But yeah, I got the front legs on. I just need to sew on the back legs. So let's do that now. just need to add the eyes and we're done so I don't have any safety eyes if you have any tips to like it's so floppy I did add a bit more stuffing so I don't know I get way too in my head about everything I do figuring out what to say cause it's so so new but you've been so patient and I appreciate This is the finished unicorn. It's literally half, it's the size of half my body. It's humongous. Here's the back. It's a bit floppy and okay, so for the eyes, I basically just crocheted a circle and then I put safety eyes in it because the safety eyes weren't big enough, but I still wanted a bit of a shine. I don't know if it looks too creepy. I think it looks, it looks fine, I think. I think it looks fine, but yeah. So cute, I love how it turned out. It was kind of hard to make just because of the size of it and it was kind of like tipping over and stuff. But yeah, wow, finally. After all, I think I've been wanting to make this for like two months. So yeah, if you want to make your own or just a regular size, I have my pattern down below and you can just follow that. Ooh, I forgot to do it in the last video. Ooh, okay. 
So this first one is by Saffron Noel, and she made a t-shirt. It's so cute. I love it. The color is really nice too. Next is Crochet by Isabelle. She also made little amigurumis with um, blanket yarn, so I'll just show a few of them. I absolutely love this turtle. Wow. These are all so cute. I love it. This just inspires me to make more of them because I just love how giant this is. It's like so unnecessary, but at the same time, like I needed this in my life. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.